Hey, how's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking the body beat down here, Michael, on this uh, Monday afternoon, 9 11. Uh, rest in peace to my uh, brother in law, died a year ago. Cancer. Uh, it's been a rough year. So, uh, anyway, uh, on to a little more lighthearted note. As y'all know, I like to collect action figures, and I put it on this channel because. Uh, it brings me happiness, even though I don't look very happy. Uh, it brings me happiness and joy, and so that that's a good part of uh, keeping healthy. So, uh, if you keep up with the channel, you know that I collect uh, Masters of the Universe, uh, Revelation, Revolution, New Eternia, etc., etc. It's all in the Masterverse line. So, it all started out with the Netflix series... Uh, Masters of the Universe. Anyway, yeah, Revelation. <laughs> Revelation. So, this is, I think, I think it's Wave 11. I don't even know. Probably Wave 11 at this point. I don't even know. So, a lot going on here in the house, and I'm not trying to keep my brain focused on everything, but sometimes I am not focused. It is getting rough. So we're moving and still dealing with all the bank stuff that's taking forever and all that stuff. And I'm a box collector. Not just these boxes. Which I'm trying to stop doing that. But I mean like the boxes that the action figures come in. So I always hope that the boxes are in good condition. And everything's how it should be. I don't really like how these are packed in here. But we'll see how it goes. So this is a figure I've been waiting on forever. It should have been released with Wave 1. However, they do things ignorant. So we have Prince Adam finally. Prince Adam. And even though I'm a huge fan of the 80s toys and the 80s cartoon, this is what Adam should look like. Adam should look like a totally different person than He-Man. And uh, that's what I like about this version of Adam. As you can see, that's the wave we got going on down here. So, anyway, finally get Adam. And sorry for the glare, that's just kind of... How it goes when you have these packages like this. So, it looks to be in good condition. Now, here's one that I haven't had. I didn't have this toy as, uh, as a kid. So, it's pretty cool to have him in my collection. Clamp Champ. He's a buddy of uh, Fisto. And, uh, pretty cool character. There's his biography. There's a little story about him right there. It's... They all got that on the boxes. Clamp Champ. I'm glad to have him. Good looking character. Boxes seem to be okay so far. I don't know what that was. Sounded like something. Anyway. I don't know what that was. Anyway, uh, of course, uh, Revelation is the first half of this story, and then Revolution is the new one that's coming out, and uh, it's in 2024, I believe. So. so this one here is another Skeletor, which I'm not crazy about, but it was in the wave, so I went ahead and got him. So, uh, anyway... Skeletor's relationship with Evil Lynn dates back to when she was but a vagrant living in the gutters of servant of Hordak at the time. Skeletor rescued Evil Lynn from the mob, enhanced her magic, gave her a place to belong, not out of sense of him, but rather... No duh, we know all that. So anyway, I think this is kind of a Skele Skeletor a Hordak kind of version where he... I don't know. I don't remember what the story is with him. If it's a 
I mean, he's he's got the the horde the horde belt on. She is belt. It's like a bat kind of face with Hordak in there. So I guess it's Horde Skeletor. Something like that is what it's called. They release way too many variations of some of these characters. And here's a character I've always loved. Had him as a kid as well. Uh, Web Store. He's like spider. He's a spider dude. And uh, so he's a pretty cool dude. Web Store. Pretty cool character. I always liked him. You didn't really get to see him much in the old cartoon, in the 80s cartoon, but uh, he was still cool. Some of the characters they didn't utilize very well. So now we got the big guy, a uh, deluxe edition of uh, a big old guy. And, uh, oh. Looking good. We got Whiplash. Sorry for the glare again. Not the best way to view these things. You can find good pictures of them online. And uh, anyway. So, uh, yeah, we got Whiplash. He looks good. I like his character. I wish, his, I wish they could have packaged him with his tail attached. He's like an alligator type thing. Uh, you gotta attach his tail. Now the original Whiplash back in the 80s had the tail attached. So I wish they could have done that. But I won't complain too much. He's a pretty beefy character. He's got different uh, accessories and stuff with him. Got some good artwork on the back. And I've already got this wave down here as well. You can go back and look at the video for that. So, some artwork. Different artwork. Pretty cool character. So, yeah. So, all these finally came in. I've had them on pre-order for quite a while now. So, uh, glad I got them. So, anyway. Guys, if you appreciate this kind of content and and all the other stuff that I upload and do, uh, maybe send me a like, share, subscribe, and a comment. I'd appreciate it. Uh, let me know in the comments if you collect anything, uh, what it is, and uh, we'll talk about it if you want to talk about it. So this is what I collect right here, and uh, I'm glad that I do. So... Guys, have a good day, and don't forget, get up, get out, get rad, do it to it. And we'll see you next time on the Body Beatdown, where we'll get more of these at some point. All right? See y'all later. Get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it!